Sub knife people back again with more of these knives. Hope everybody's having a knife day on this long 4th of July weekend for most of us anyways, but I'll start you off with my carry. Probably for today and tomorrow is gonna be the Atom from TRM and red and black composite carbon fiber. Awesome knife, kind of in that DLC, kind of gun-coated blade. So yeah, one of my favorites. Awesome knife on washers, American made, uh, titanium clip, titanium parts, and just a slim, slicey knife. So uh, one of my favorites for sure. So that'll be my carry. And I'll put that aside for now. Welcome again to the channel for you know those new subs old subs we are going to do another unboxing i did have something planned but uh it's not going to work out just don't have the time to do it so i am going to just jump into this unboxing that i got uh this one i got from amazon and it came a couple days ago so i lucked out and uh that's it so i'm gonna jump right in and let's get it open see what's in here so i'm gonna use this TRM Adam again, slicey little machine, nice and thin, beautiful knife. So here we go. Get in here. All right, let's put that down. Show you what we got here. So this is coming from Amazon, so you don't get any extra knickknacks, anything like that. So see what we got here oh look it's even a picture so perfect there you go so in case of those that don't know that's what's in there see so if y'all can guess what brand it is it is bam yes sir what's that oh, some clear nerds quite fresh and so yeah it's a honey badger this is my first honey badger knife um kind of a little special edition and uh just jumped on it i uh saw it on amazon I'm not a big amazon fan but um in this case i had to work out so this is what you get i'm guessing most likely with most of the get a cool probably like t8 and t6 allen wrench it's, uh, so real sure about the company. Uh, I know it is a South African knife company, uh, most likely made in China, but you know, that's uh, neither here nor there. A couple other styles and probably information on the company. So it's always good to have. And then I think this is a sticker. So yeah, cool little honey badger sticker. Honey badger don't care. So yeah, I've heard about those things pretty mean. <clears throat> so I'll put that there on the side here. Let's get right into the knife. So no more hesitation. And again, you get this nice little pouch, which is cool. So that's always nice. And here's the knife. Nice. So here we go. Yep. Had to be a Jade G10 and Black Blade. Uh, for those of you that know me in the, uh, from the channel, know that uh, that's the best combination, uh, color combination that I like, is the jade and black. So that goes way back from the beginning of the channel. And, you know, it's no different. So this is a special edition, exclusive in jade. And there you go, in D2 steel. So it's not the, uh, what is it, HCRMOV, and uh, um, I think that's what they have. No, they do have other D2 as well, but this is a coated blade. Let's check it out. It's a flipper. Let's check out the centering real quick. Seems dead on, and bam. So that's the difference there. It's uh, the new Tonto blade. Uh, a little brandishing there with uh, the logo and the i think probably the limited number so they might have made about a thousand i'm not too sure so 
Again, it's a flipper knife. Really nice little tonto there. Has their new blade style. Kind of that swedge on the top. Nice little tip there. Seems pretty stout towards the end. Kind of a thick stock there. Uh, looks like there's a little bit of scratching or something on the blade. See that? Not too, I don't know what happened there. Looks like it got scratched up or something. So uh, that probably came from the maker like that. And you got some G10. It's not super flat, but it is kind of contoured. Uh, you got some little, you know, kind of etching they did here. Some little groove marks for grip. A little jumping on the liner. There's a liner lock. Uh, from what I see here, it's probably engaged about maybe 30%. So got a deep clip uh, you got some countersunk screws into the scales the clip is inserted in between the liner and the scale with a JG10 backspacer and this is pocket uh, lefty friendly so it is reversible check that out Switch the plate over. Got a little lanyard hole. You see the grip on it. So this is, I believe, the medium size of the honey badger. So it's not that they have, uh, I think, a large size as well. So this is uh, barely a four-finger knife for me. So if you got bigger hands, you might want to go large. Uh, this uh, exclusive they don't have in all the uh other sizes i think it's the only size they have with the blacked out hardware all the other ones are pretty much just the basic standard models with the satin blades satin hardware satin liner satin clip things like that oh i saw that too that's cool get a nice little badger on there so that's the front side here goes the back side love that tonto shape Really nice, kind of like a rounded off Tanto. D2. Got some black pivots. Let's check out the action. Ooh, nice action though. It is on bearings. Really smooth action. Wow, pretty nice. Very drop shutty. There you go. Does hit your finger here with the flipper. So it's very nice. And then of course it has a big hole opening there. So I'm sure you can spidey flick it. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice uh, sound there too, the engagement. Let's uh, do a back flip. There you go, reverse flip. So very nice. So multiple openings. It's always a plus, cool little shape, nice size, EDC friendly. Uh, some of you might not like the blasting here on the front, but not too bad. Uh, it looks like a coated blade, doesn't look like it's stone washed. So kind of like the Tenacious I brought out the other day. You can tell the coating starts to rub off a little bit. So that's probably what will happen to that one. So I'll show you that in a bit. So again, this, I like I prefer the dark stone washed, but uh, this is fine. It'll do. So really nice in hand. Get nice action. Uh, can't see the bearings, but you can feel the bearings when you drop it. And uh, what else here? Of course, you got embedded liners. So the liners are in, inside. See if there's any kind of milling on them. Yep, so they're milled out pretty good, at least on one side. So a little bit of weight relief there. But nice action though, really blown away. 
Action is very good, both in the opening and the closing. So, very nice. So that's the Honey Badger and the new Tonto Blade. And the, uh, what do they call it? Let's see what they call it here. It doesn't say, so it is made in China. Medium JG10, DLC coded, left, right. And it doesn't say it's limited, but I know it's exclusive. A lot of places didn't have it. I was trying to get it uh, when I saw it a couple months back uh, on Stuff We Do. Go check him out also. Um, another YouTuber, and he, he's from South Africa, and he got his. Uh, so I tried to go through his uh, where he got it, but they wouldn't ship to U.S. And finally, a lot of U.S. Uh, places started having it, so I just jumped on it. And of course, I like that style, so enough mumbling there. Let me do this too. Let me get some measurements. So let's check this uh, blade stock. So it looks like it's 14. Again, trying to get on that side of the Ricasso back here. That's the accurate measurement. So yeah, 14. Blade stock thickness and it narrows down to pretty thick actually so looks like it's about point about point three at the tip so you still get a lot of uh, stoutness at the tip there sorry for my hands a little bit dry there let's check out the blade thickness here so it's about an inch thick on the blade. The handle is about an inch, the widest, and handle thickness, 0.5. Gets a little, about the same all the way through. So there you go, there's some specs. For the handle, the blade, cool little knife, really digging it. So let me check the, give you the overall handle specs. I mean, overall length, let's check this out. Boom, boom. So there we go, seven, you're looking at just a little shy of seven and a half inches. You got a blade that is a little bit less than three and a half, and you got cutting about three and a quarter. And then we have closed length. You're looking at a little over four inches closed. So nice regular EDC specs grip length you know, you're looking about just about four inches so pretty sweet really digging it wasn't too sure I was gonna like it I know some of the other honey badger knives are not too uh, intriguing but I guess just the color combo uh, sold me on this one and for my first honey badger do like the action pretty sweet let's get the the weight here Boom. let's see what the see what the scale says on the weight 3.4 ounces pretty nice so again standard EC yeah very nice. So, give it a look at a hand. Kind of creep up on it there a little bit. Pretty sweet. Very nice lines. Really cool. Really like it. So, let's give you some comparisons. Again, hope everybody's going to have a good 4th of July. Be safe out there course 
I'm gonna do, see here, I got quite a few knives here to show you. So let me do that and start off with a commoner, the Civivi Elementum, GG10 of course. But this one, as you can see, has that kind of dark stone washed. So regular Elementum, Elementum Civivi. And actually, this is the Blade HQ exclusive in S35VN. So, check that out. Then we have another kind of like a little baby Adam. Kind of looks like that. Looks a little similar to this guy. Kind of get that really thin blade stock, nice and pointy. This is the Ferrum Forge Stinger collaboration. Of course, made by Wii, Nitro V steel, JG10, deep clip, nice action on this guy too, nice and thin. So, I'll show you that, I'll show you right. Get this hair out of the way, where that came from. So, let's give you a little over, a little bird's eye view here. So there you go, that's how it compares in size, literally right in that seven, seven and a half inch range for common EDC. Sweet. What else we got, what else we got? Got quite a few out here just to kind of show you a little something here on the long weekend. Have a little eye candy for some of you that haven't seen these knives might like it i'm also going to show you some more jg10 this is the best tech texel this one i modified by buying two knives with the white skills and the black blade and i switched them with the jade and satin so that's how i got this color combination again this one's really super action as well one of my favorites of all time it's the best tech Texel. Then I also have the Kubi Drake. A lot of you know Kubi as well. Dark Stone Washed. And that Jade G10 Mix. D2. Deep Clip. And that Sheepish Blade there with the opening. So these are a tad bit bigger. And you guys can see also how the Jade changes from brand to brand some are a little bit lighter some are a little bit darker but there you go three edcs just a little tiny bigger and grip length and overall length best tech texel and kubi drake so what else do i got here I'm going to pull the uh, Petrified Fish, Mini Beluga, new to the collection as well, a couple weeks into it. This one's got a little rub marks on here as well, but as you can tell, you don't see it that bad with the uh, Dark Stone Washed. So I have been putting it to work. That's the Petrified Fish Mini Beluga. And then of course, the bigger brother, the petrified fish. A little bit different style here. K110, which is pretty much D2 as well. And that's it. It's the Warrior 949, as some call it. But not JG10. Also really like those handle scales and that red black Gmascus. So again, much bigger knife here on the bottom. Mini Beluga is a little smaller. See if at some point I'll probably get a regular size Beluga from Petrified Fish as well. Really cool company, kind of new to the scene and they're doing good things. So go check them out. And I think I got two more knives here I'll throw at you. Of course, last week I introduced you guys to the new uh resilience this uh four and a half inch blade 
on Spyderco, FRN, the new version. Uh, again, China made as well, and HCR 13 MOV. But just the monster of a knife, already been using it. And like I said, you can see the rub marks on there and uh, does tend to wear off a little bit, that black coating. So put that on the bottom. And another little cool budget knife that I got probably about a month ago, the Steel Wheel um, Cut Jack, Mini Cut Jack. Gray FRN, again, dark stone washed. This one's got nice little finger twirls up at the front. And yeah, so that's the Mini Cut Jack. Probably more appropriate in size. Check these out. And again, these are all running about maybe 50, 60 bucks, maybe even a little bit less. All the knives I showed you. So yeah, you can see the big difference in the resilience size there. So I just thought I'd throw a little kind of budget, some budget knives out you, at you for comparison. Steel wool mini, land, uh, mini cut jack, no deep clip on this one. And the resilience from Spyderco and the new FRN. Yeah, still has steel liners. So nice, good, budget, big blade, if you're interested. And what else do I got? Oh, you know what? Let me do the uh, uh, cut test for you real quick. Get a piece of paper here to cut. Mm -hmm. See what it looks like, or what it cuts like out of box. So we're gonna put this baby to work, see what it's about. See here. Mm -hmm. Even that tip, a uh, little shaggy on the cutting. I wouldn't say it's razor sharp, but it is working sharp. So again, the D2, you can see the paper shagging a little bit there. I'll show you the difference between the D2 sharpness and the sharpness of that 20 CV. You see there's no shagging at all. And that's the Atom. <laughs> so put that guy back. So the D2 is a bit, it is working sharp, but you can probably get it a little sharper. Again, nice Tonto blade, the new style. Really digging it in this exclusive. So I'm gonna just wrap it up there, guys. And uh, as always, uh, y'all know where to find me. Um, make sure you guys have a good holiday, safe holiday uh, with the fireworks and stuff. And enjoy the family, hot dogs, hamburgers, whatever you guys have, carne asadas. And that's it. So as always, guys, <clears throat> please tune back in for more if you like these knives if you like knife content tell friends tell family let them know where to find me on the youtubes carry your knives and again can't force it enough be safe out there uh thanks again everybody that's been tuning in and as always i'll catch you guys on the flip side have a good one Later.